Hello there, good day. Um, I want to use this tutorial, this opportunity to actually show you how to go live and share your screen on Facebook. Um, so a lot of people wonder how I'm able to um, do Facebook live webinars and actually share my screen and use slides to teach webinars on Facebook. So I want to show you how to do this. So I have a secret Facebook group that I created where I used to do all my testing. So I'm going to, uh, this is it. And I want to use this to actually test a Facebook live um, that I'm going to be um, operating for you today. So basically what you want to do is first of all, um, this is my Google Chrome. I usually use Google Chrome. These are my uh, devices. Up. So I'm currently open to my Facebook. What I want to do is while my Facebook is open, I go to my keynote or PowerPoint, depending on the laptop that you're using. So I go to my keynote and if it's not open yet, I open the PowerPoint presentation that I want to um, teach on, that I want to use, Cre presentation I've, 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 actually, I've actually already created that I want to teach on. So it's open now, this is the very first page. This is what people would see as soon as the video goes live. So when I do this, I don't minimize it. I go to my Chrome from the bottom of my laptop. I go to my Google Chrome again. So which means that the keynote is actually open in the background. So that's what we want to do. So that's, it's important that you um, are able to do that step. So it's easy for you to get through the process easily. Then the next thing you want to do is go to your live to click on live video. And then click on live video. Um, so it shows camera. The first uh, thing that you would see normally is my face. This is my face here. Uh, so the camera is facing me. Next thing I want to do is to go to the side to the audio is okay. So you can hear that my uh, mic that I'm using is perfectly fine. So um, it's currently on FaceTime HD camera because of the laptop I'm using. So I currently want to share my screen. So I click to share my screen. Now when you click to share your screen, it gives you options. You can either share your entire screen which would show a cascade like this. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you can decide to share your application window. When you want to share only your slides, you don't want to toggle between windows, it's better for you to just choose only the slides. So you click on the application window. Or you can click to only share your Chrome tab and then to pick all your device, uh, whatever it is that you want to share on. But that, that's my Chrome tab. Anyway, um, so these are application windows. So this is the Chrome application that shows videos Tuesday because this is the name of my Facebook group, my secret Facebook group on Facebook. And then this here, Facebook group for business is the application tab for my keynote where my slides are currently located. So I want to only share my slides. So I'm clicking on this alone. So I click that and I click to share. Now it shows, it goes back to my, um, my keynote. So this is my keynote here. And you can see that I can actually toggle between screens because I'm actually on the application. So when I click to share, it takes me back here. Now you can also see that um, there's a notification at the bottom that says Facebook screen sharing, sharing a window with facebook.com. So I can decide to stop sharing here if I want to show only my face by the time I'm done with my webinar, or, or I can decide I don't want to show my face either. So I just completely ignore that. Next thing you want to do is go back to your Chrome or your uh, browser, whatever it is, and then you would finally be able to see a preview of what your audience would be able to see once you go live. So it's showing here that it shows a preview. Um, so I then add a title, let's say demo video. Um, I add a title to um, my Facebook Live that I want to use. And then I click to go live. When I click to go live, it takes me back to my keynote. Okay, so I click to go live. And now it's um, showing that we're about to go live. Great. So what I'm seeing here is exactly what my audience will be seeing. So I'm still currently on the Chrome uh, browser. I'm still currently on my Facebook right now. So I've clicked to go live. Now, if people are joining on this right hand side, I'll be see the, seeing the people who are joining. If people are commenting, I will see people who are commenting. I can actually comment as well and say hello and see my comments actually show um, as well. Now, because it's just me in this Facebook group, um, nobody's joining, nobody's here. I'm just doing this as a tutorial. Now, you can also see the timer and the counter on the side. So when you want to begin to operate your slides, you can have this open when you're in. Um, talking to your viewers, you're having people who are joining in, you are seeing people who are joining in, you want to have it here on your Facebook 
um, browser. That is exactly where you go to when you want to interact. But when you want to begin to teach, when you want to use your slides, all you need to do is go down to your keynote, which is the screen that's actually being shared. That is why you can see it in the preview on your laptop. So when you click on that, then you can actually toggle between your screens. You can actually go through um, your screens and actually you know, teach whatever it is you're teaching. At any time you feel like you need to communicate back um, with your community and your audience members, all you need to do is go back to your Google Chrome and then you see comments, you can see questions, you can answer your questions and you can communicate with them. When you want to continue, you go back by clicking on your keynote and then continue to toggle with your slides till you are done. By the time you are done, what you want to do is go back to your Google Chrome, do not remove anything, do not cancel anything, do not minimize anything, do not stop sharing, just leave it there. Unless you want to actually show your face, then you can stop sharing your keynotes and then actually show your face. But I am not interested in showing my face, so I would leave that there. So by the time you're done, you've thanked everybody who's um, been on your broadcast, you've done whatever it is you want to do, you've probably done a launch or something, you then click to end live video. Then it'll ask you, do you want to end? They say, yes, you want to end it. By the time you click on this, to end it, it ends for you and it ends for everyone else. So you can delete the video if you don't want to save it or you can click done for it to actually be saved. Now when you click done, the video will actually be there. So you can see, this is one I actually did quite uh, recently. I'm going to refresh my feed so that I can see the actual video that um, I just did right now. So this is it says two minutes ago demo video so this is what i actually just did so you can if i click on this i can actually hear and see so what i'm seeing here is exactly what my audience will be seeing so i'm still currently on the chrome uh, browser i'm still currently on my facebook right now so i've clicked to go live now people are joining on this right hand side okay great so you can see that it actually works so when you see the live broadcast everybody can see only my um my slides. If I decide that I want to have um, um, the slideshow, I can do that as well. I personally don't like having that though, but um, this is easier to do. So this is it. This is exactly how you're able to share your screen on um, on your Facebook group so that you can actually teach a webinar or teach a seminar on that as well. So thank you so much for listening. If you did like this video, let me know in the comment section. Also like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and other cool videos on writing, authoring, entrepreneurship and the likes. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.